Hey guys, it's me, Sumpwater Jack. Oh, welcome to another Time Off Tuesday stream. Um, I know, like I said, I think I said I was going to be off for two weeks, but hey, I got a little bit of time today to start streaming, so we're just going to uh, start off with a little bit earlier, a little bit shorter stream today, but uh, I'm definitely excited to relax and to delve deeper into this game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just start booting up everything and get right into it. Oh man, whew. this last week was a long one. Um, we start off our first week of tour, doing rehearsals down in Pensacola, and then uh, hitting up several cities. Uh, overall, with my department and everything, things went pretty, pretty well. Um, there's a few kinks with the show and stuff, but we've been getting better each and every time. Uh, upper mobility, whatever. Uh, I don't think that was the right phrase, but anyways. But, you know, everything's been going good. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time talking about work unless anybody has any questions about things. But, yeah, not today. It's just about relaxing, playing some games. Um, get myself prepared for next week. Because next week is going to be an even longer week gonna leave tomorrow night and then i ain't getting back till tuesday again so probably we'll skip the stream next week because i only have like three six hours at home so i don't want to spend them with my wife so we'll take a week off and then we'll come back out it next week um though uh, actually the, that week is my birthday week so uh, the stream may or may not happen on tuesday especially because tuesday is my birthday yeah um but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of, we're planning on going out to, um, a, a, oh no, the jazz thing's on Monday, so we'll see. Um, I kind of want to, my wife's real excited to hang out and spend time with me for her birthday, so probably won't stream Tuesday unless I do it during the day. So, maybe I'll stream Monday or, uh, earlier on Thursday. I don't know. Um... But don't worry, I'm still definitely into this. Definitely still want to keep streaming and playing Bring this game. I love it. Again, even if nobody's watching, like I'm gonna keep playing. So, anyways, oh god, remember what we're doing? Um, let's see. Let's. Oh gosh. Okay, I uh, gotta remember the buttons here. All right. Um. Uh, that's right. Uh, this quest, questy, quest, quest thingy. Um, gotta look around, and make sure that we. I think there was maybe a few more clues that we needed to start grabbing. Or we will be able to grab soon. So. Yeah, I think. Oops. But I think, yeah, last we napped, we healed everybody. Let's see, everybody's all healed. Man, I should really write down notes. <laughs> Remember where I am with game. I keep thinking about doing that. Especially when you walk away from a game for a while. I hate having to like start over. But then again, you jump in and you're like, whoa, what was I doing? So uh, I, I had a friend a long time ago. Oh, well, I say a long time ago. But I've known him for a while, though. I think he's doing right. But he said he kept like a journal log of like all the games he played. And I don't know if I want to go super detailed with it, but it probably would be good to just give a general like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm at. This is the things I'm thinking. So when you jump back in the game, you just go, oh, look, yeah, I'm back into it. Instead of uh, being like, oh, I just need to start over. Let's see. Okay, so he's the only one with a side quest left. And then it's everybody else we're trying to figure out hints for. Which I think this next quest is going to be able us is going to allow us to find out those hints. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's read what the actual mission is for this. Lord Redgrave has another task for me. He wants me to make a vampire of Aloysius Dawson. Oh, that's right. Uh, the richest man in England. The man is prepared and waits for my visit at his mansion near uh, Temple Church. I, ma I made an echo out of my own sister, and I was, and it was the worst thing that ever occurred to me. And now I should make another soul my progeny? Oh, yeah, that's right. He wants us to make the, that rich dude... Rich old dude, a vampire. 
Um, and the reason why, there's a couple of reasons for it. Like, one, it's a loyalty kind of testing but also, two, like, there's that. Um, also, again, you know, we bit our sister, and she should have been a skull or anything like that, but made an Ekon out of her just from a bite. And then, on top of that, it turns out Redgrave is not actually the uh, spawn of, uh, or the progeny of, uh, whatever Sir Sir George, whatever he claims to be, and he can only make skulls. So, yeah. Kind of have to do what he wants Good or else. Good evening, uh, Dr. Reed. A great night. What? What? That's right, and I can ask people what they all think about him. Do you know anything about a man called Aloysius Dawson? He used to be a big spender. One day, he sent three houseboys to buy all the beluga in my shop. For his brother's birthday, if I remember correctly. I see. <laughs> That's right, his mouth Anything is else? Man. Less gas perhaps. I really can't say. The man is filthy and rich. But you know that, of course. Of course. Ooh, and then he sells stuff that I want now, but I think I, I bought him out. look at your goods, Mr. Russell. I think because I bought them out, it's not showing up. Uh, which was phosphorus and something else so I can make those weapons I like or want to make. You can for the firearms you can add either fire or acid damage or something like that. That's right. Um, what was it? What are those ingredients? Why is my brain, man, my brain needs to get working. Uh, where, where is this thing? So I'm leaving powder. Oh, it's right here. Sodium hydroxide and white phosphorus. That's right. Okay, here we go. Don't let any strangers come into your house. Okay, I think I talked to everybody right about here, but I... Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Let's see her, yes. Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been quite bit... Oh, yeah, and our vampire lover has decided that we've not actually had relations with his, uh, you know, somewhere... Good around. evening, Miss Teasdale. Can I help you, Dr. Reed? Let's see, I think I already have already asked her. Goodbye. And I already, I think I talked to my old best friend, and I talked to this guy. I think I talked to him. Good evening, Mr. Kamara. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Yep. Goodbye. All right, now Nobody I need to go. so much pain. Hello, Jonathan. Please, come in. You know that you are always welcome here. But at this hour of night... Shut up. You're poisoning your husband. You're a terrible lady. What do you need from me, Jonathan? Did Clarence recently show you documents that prove the existence of vampires? Yes, he did. And he also told me you spent a few nights gathering research for him. Seriously, Jonathan. Why feed his obsession like that? He's my friend. I thought it might help him rest, instead of going outside at night. Tell me, what are your thoughts about vampires? Gibberish and poppycock. Dracula was a good book. But these documents were just mumbo jumbo. I burnt them all as soon as Clarence went outside again. Oh my gosh, this lady! Damn it. 
What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I never met the man. I know Clarence tried to contact him recently, but I don't know why. Well, goodbye for now. To drink your blood, and I won't. At least you survived. Okay, I don't think there's anybody back here, but I'm gonna double check because I think I rescued somebody or Somebody recently showed up. Oh, there goes a squirrel. <laughs> Sorry, that was in real life. My back porch during the day, squirrels sometimes use it as a travel way. Sometimes they'll just kind of hang out, but usually they use it as a transit way to make their way to the trees, tree line nearby, or to the back of other porches. Alright, what is she going to tell me? Talk to me. Lady. Rats. Tasty rats. Those clever rodents are cautious now. They won't approach. I need to find information about Aloysius Dawson. What can you tell me about him? Don't trust him. He's looking for the same thing I was. Rats? Uh, no, uh, not rats. Something else. I don't remember. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. It's locked, all right. doesn't have an exclamation point. The only reason I would go over to him instead of over here to the uh, quest marker is because I could go visit Dr. Uh, duh, what's his name? Chandra. Oh my gosh, I could visit this merchant and he would have supplies for me. But I, part of me wants to say I already did that? Did I spend extra time on the last stream to do that before we finished off? I might have. Can't quite remember. I want to say yes, but I don't remember if I talked to Edgar about Redgrave and what I learned about him. Ah, fine. Let's see what's the shortest route. Blue, blue, blue. Reed Manor. Eh, because we kind of need to go this way. I'll turn around, turn right, and then uh, to the hole. Back, uh, don't mind. Just go this way. To the hole. Cool. That's right. And my mother had nothing new to say. Um, my uh, Avery told us that he had recently dismissed all of his. Uh, Women of all countries unite! Tis. 
staff from their service. That's, there we go. Dismiss them. There we go. her name lives except she's not there right now right now she's undercover I think uh, well she was but then she was just at my weird ceremony thingy so maybe she's back home maybe she's not we'll swing by probably locked if she's home I guess we could talk to her but we were able to talk to her in the club so yeah she's not here I cannot enter I cannot enter God, I got this, uh, this neat sword. Last time we're giving it a try. It's very similar to my, uh, to my hacksaw, but I think it could, could slightly do more damage. Ah, ah, loading. Look at that. I'm so fast. Just call me Sonic. I talked to Swansea already, but let's try. Quickly, quickly! Alright, Swansea, come here. Yes? Okay. I'll come back later. Thank you. Yes, absolutely nothing new to say. Which I wish Always a pleasure to see you. supplies. If I didn't already buy him out last time, I just don't remember. Come here! Good evening, Dr. Reed. Please show, of course. It... Dang it, I must have bought him out last time. Sorry if you're just watching the last video and went to this and seen me run back to the same thing like an idiot. <laughs> well, now I know, and knowing is half the battle. Go, Joe. Uh huh. Evening, Doctor. Nurse.
Time to break this stuff again. Get out of my way. Okay, that reach. Just take an extra little swipe. Sorry, I feel like I have like a hair that fell across my face. You know, loose hair. Anyways, doesn't matter. This red motor car just left here bending on the street. Because it's so easy to, you know, you're not working, so you just forget to, you know, drink water and stuff. And then, but then you get back to work, and you're just like, oh, oh, I'm swollen, oh, I can't move, oh, why am I so dried out? Yeah. All right, looks like there's some proven boys here in the way. Sup, mates? Right, Speaking Slice! Dice! Slice! Ah! What the? Bloody Alright, a little rough. Could've done a lot better, but... Yeah, those guys ain't worth my time. They're fighting me, and there's just some couple of skulls just chilling right there that they could have taken care of. Oh, oh these silly, silly boys. Box. 
What's in the box? Aluminum powder and chili. It's all white. Never need a load for aluminum powder ever again. <laughs> how many? How many did they give us in this game? Okay, it's time to talk to some people around here. Sorry, I'm reading through this here walkthrough, and it's assuming I didn't do all the things I've already done, which is, you know, find a way into this district, so. Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? What are you investigating, exactly? Well, my two missing persons cases have been solved by you, it seems. Are you just that lucky? Or do you know something I don't? I was lucky enough to find them both while conducting my investigation in this part of town. Why do I still have the feeling that you're hiding something? What about the abductor? Was it the same person? I don't think so. You had better interview Miss Teasdale and Mr. Kimura on that matter. All I did was to lead them safely home. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. What are you investigating? Well, might I was... Why do I... I don't... Alright, make sure you have nothing you say. And the Salus hints. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Which I think by the end of this current quest, we'll be able to get his hints and finish off his chains here. And I'm going to talk to Carol. Good evening, young lady. My mother always prefers when people simply call me Carol. So that way. Not all of your stuff before, that's right. Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Goodbye, Carol. I hope you can stay a little longer. I am sorry, I, I, I can't help you, sir. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. Shut up, sick, crazy lady. I'm always talking to you because I have to. May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need.
kind of need more aluminum parts. I also have forks that I can just recycle, so. I actually have a freeze warning going into effect here soon, so I think it's affected me and the wife's side is just so. Dr. Reed, I am glad to see you again. Nope. Good evening, Miss Price. You... Do you know Aloysius Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy something from you? No, he left quickly. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. Since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tycoon. Oh, he is a twin. Twin would have died in a plane crash. All right, now there should be nothing new. I don't want to associate with you, lady. Goodbye for now. Doctor Reed, I am your daughter. Glad. If you're sick of that, let's see. I already talked to you. Um, these two weirdo twins are over here. Hopefully, talking to them doesn't cause the game to crash. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. That's it? That's it? Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Alright, I'm gonna talk to what's his face hiding here, the primate. Pointing on the church. The church. Evening, Jonathan Reed. Can I help you in any way? Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson? Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. Darkness. He was a member of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. remember a tiny bit of historically. Just, just kind of remember the name that existed. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. The fool and the empress. Again. What are the cards trying to tell us? It's locked, all right. That's what they're trying to tell us. This locked. Okay. I have all his hints. It's locked. Okay, I 
just gotta make it to his mansion. And then... Oh, let me get the owl. The Spanish flu is not the only hidden killer around here. There might be some more proven boys in the way. Unless they stay dead. Nope, they don't come back. Dumb death. I shouldn't have died. I was really careless. And now we all have to pay the price of waiting for the screen to reload. Sorry, friends. Wow, that was sloppy, stupid of me. This time I'm gonna murderize him. In fact, I might just use my ultimate because why not? I've got nothing else to do with it. Yeah, I'm looking here. <laughs> There's this big whole big walkthrough thing I've been reading. Uh, and it was giving me tips on what to do next, except uh, it was everything I'd already cleared out. The whole underground section, saving Miss Teasdale, all that stuff. So I'm glad I already took care of that. But where am I? Oh, I spawned behind them. That's great. Now it's time for my vengeance. Lord, give us cannot be you stop that crap. guy waiting around the corner.
this should be unlocked now, right? Yeah, this guy's mad because it was not an option before. Anything... Trash cans, any loot, anything... Nothing. Darkness. No. Oh, that's my reflection. For a second, I thought I saw somebody in there. I was like, super highly reflective windows that don't allow you to see inside. Here we go. Sorry, check in. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Look at all that food. So low texture. Um, <laughs> uh, what did it say? Fountain of life. According to Elizabeth, I should not. Not except to make a Lucius Dawson a vampire, for the man has been a heartless tyrant all his life, and nothing good could come from him obtaining immortality. But I am an Ascalon member now, and I have sworn to obey Lord Redgrave. I really don't know what to do. Oh, I forgot to open up my, uh... Hey! Sorry about that. I didn't have the chat window open. What's up? Yes. It is time to loot! Loot this old man's mansion. He can afford it. Got here. Nothing. I've been bamboozled. Money. Five shillings. One screw. Another screw! Like it has a whole cabinet just for a single screw. To like the past streams, glad to be on the bed. The game was pretty good for I've seen. Yeah, it's been real fun. Um, and I definitely appreciate the, uh, the views, even if you weren't able to fully sit and enjoy. But. Yeah, no, this game's been super fun. Um, it's got plenty of combat, but also plenty of, uh, like I said, full uh, full on dialogue, trees and stuff, and uh, yeah, so I'd say it's a pretty good mix of both, you know, action and uh, interactive story stuff. Newspaper article: Execution of John Francis Sparrow. John Francis Sparrow, 21 has been hung this morning in the prison of Pentonville. Mr. Sparrow was sentenced to death after being found guilty of the murder of his sister, Alexandra Sparrow. 
Until the end, the man claimed he was innocent. No formal proof of his presence at the crime scene was ever brought to the court, but he has been sentenced to death and executed anyway. Scotland Yard refused to reopen the case despite the many holes in the chain of events, which ended with the death of Miss Sparrow. Charles Albright, who conducted the inquiry for Scotland Yard, refused to answer any of our questions, but three weeks ago he was demoted without any official explanation. What a strange way to award an efficient inquiry. Plain dog. Yeah, enjoy the game. Yep. Um, yeah, and again, you have to actually make like choices and decisions in this game. Um, it's all auto save, so you can't like save scum and go back. Like your choices actually kind of matter, um, which for good or for ill, because there's something I screwed up in the beginning, and I basically had to start over if I wanted to fix it or keep on playing. And haunts me to this Reduced day. in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. But I will definitely replay this game again. Um, don't know if I'll do it right away, but I'm definitely going to replay it again because right now I'm doing pacifist ish in that I'm not drinking the blood of any of the citizens. The next time I play this game, I'll probably be uh, drinking everybody's blood. Anyways, uh, hint. Charles has been reduced in rank for having sent an innocent to the gallows. Cover up. Anyways. Got any more stuff in here? More money. Five shillings. Nothing. Oh my goodness. For being the richest man in like all of London, this guy sure has very few things I can actually use. Aluminum powder. Okay, well, is he upstairs or downstairs? Let's see. Nothing again. Oh my goodness. So all these empty drawers. At least do me the courtesy of just showing the damn thing already open so I don't waste time. <laughs> oh my gosh, another empty. One grease. Five shillings. One shillings, be the hot damn. That's like the most shillings I've found in one. Let's just say this this old boy was, you know, five is usually about the largest amount I find it in. Fifty one. Whew. It's like a freaking that's a fortune in this game. <laughs> it's locked. No. It's locked. Probably have to embrace this dude over that. I don't know. Whatever. Unlocked. Aluminum powder and a shard. Oop, there's the old boy. I'm not done looting your place, so. Aluminum powder! It's locked, all right. No. All righty. Is there anything in the immediate vicinity of him? Nope, never mind. Here we go. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. 
but I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. <laughs> Making sure. Okay, I don't think anything I say to him matters yet, but there will be a final decision on what to do with this boy. Sir, I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold. So cold. Oh, this old boy's like dying now-ish. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. Wow, mess. <laughs> You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hand. You're not reassuring me here, bro. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Yeah, his heart has turned black and cold. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking, but I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. Ugh. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes, it will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor? Yes, yeah, this is point. a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. Okay. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. 
All right, I know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna do a super quick read here, speed read, because I want to know all the implications of my decisions. All right, I know what I'm going with. All right, let's see. The choices are turn him, which is what Lord Grey wants me to do. Embrace him, which means I would drink his blood and just gain XP. Or charm, forget your fear of dying, which is what we got from earning his hands. Well, can't embrace him because I'm trying to do a no-kill run, even if this little boy definitely deserves to have his blood drunk. Um, so the question is, make him a vampire? Not. I kind of wish the music was playing here. We got to this whole silent part. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, his plan is terrible, and he'd be an awful, awful vampire. As in awful for the world, so. Forget your fear of dying, old man, and kick the bucket! Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. charm him. It, uh... I think that was a dignified way. Prepare to die. The district will soon suffer the consequences of your action. Healthy! <laughs> but you cannot talk with him. They made it almost seem like he dropped dead right there, but he's still breathing. His heart is still beating. He's got to make preparations still. Alrighty. It's locked. But while you're at it, could you please uh, give me the key to your safe? Please. Please, please. Ready, please? Maybe? Okay. Guess not. Alright. 
Alright, um, I got the... I think there's only just one important document in this place, we picked it up. Double check it's on the end. can get it is by embracing him. The only good thing is if I had saved him is that he would be able to sell me blood samples. Which you have to just acquire from killing enemies in the game. But you know what? I don't use serums that often, and, you know, I don't really want to be able to buy that stuff because of the way he obtained them. Oh. Oh, uh, hey there, old boy. There, Redgrave. How you doing there? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave now. It's locked, all right. Damn it. <laughs> Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, yeah. go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Woo! And by the sword you die! Check the Pembroke Hospital. Mission update. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Wow, his attitude changed Step real away, fast. Traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you... I'm taking I can't talk to him. He's just sleeping, waiting to die. And Lord Redgrave knows he can't turn up himself, because he can only produce skulls. I laugh evilly, but I did a good thing, not a bad thing. Alrighty. The mission, yes it did change. By the sword you die, sir. So, talk with old Bridget. That's it. There's, there's no actual details about anything. old Bridget herself. That's why I didn't have anything up left. Uh, hey, hey there, girl. Can I just leave? 
Not talk to her. <laughs> All right, talk with she. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget. What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. That's the reason why she's the sewer dog. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. That's supposed to be the, the, the neutral ground, though. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Econ. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls and of so many other forgotten children. I wonder if she's his progeny. All right, now that we've had a nice little chat. No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Hmm. Interesting. This feels like the most story appropriate one, but I don't actually really know her. I don't want to be like, we need to talk, and you know, something like that, but tell her, uh... Tell her I worry about her. Do not, for she has had strength and wisdom for so much longer than you. Yeah, yeah. 
Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. It's been such a long time since I came to this part of town. Ooh, look at all the XP I got Go now. now, young Ekon. You are awaited elsewhere. Uh, do I have time to take to a nap? Hospital. It's been such a long time since I came to this part of town. Go now, young Ekon. You are awaited elsewhere. It's been such a long time since okay. I came to this part of town. I'm double checking because I know. It's good to know. I wonder if after I, I sleep if I lose access to the mansion. But it would be good to know. Check something. Okay. Make sure it didn't have the effects happening. It's good. Do -do -do. Okay, double checking. I actually can rest and it won't uh have anything bad happen. talk to Albrecht too, finish off, uh, I think now that I got that one hint, I'll be able to f finish off both of them. Let's see, where is he? There he is. Oh, loaded! Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? dropped in rank. Tell me about it. Yes, it is. I made a terrible mistake. I deserved it. Sometimes I think I should have resigned. So why are you still working here? Because I'm a damn fine copper. I just don't want to have someone innocent hung again by mistake because of me. Not efficient. Death penalty can be appropriate. Death penalty is shame. Well, considering we're talking about the death of an innocent man, probably shouldn't be liked. A death penalty can be appropriate, but. The death penalty is not an efficient deterrent. I sometimes think it pushes criminals to more violence, since they know they have nothing to lose. I agree. I'm convinced all civilized nations should abolish the death penalty. Maybe after the war, once that bloodshed is over, the survivors will change that. Charles does not believe in the death penalty. Alright, that was all of his hints, but I think I get one more. Here we go. Why do you think there shouldn't be a death penalty? I believe no one should decide to take a man's life. Not a nation or a government. Are you a pacifist, Inspector? No, sir. But I believe in divine justice. Only God has the right to decide who will live and who must die. Uh, I'm going to ask him one more time about this, but I don't think it's going to change anything. What are you investigating, exactly? Well, my two missing persons cases have been solved. By you, it seems. Are you just that lucky? Or do you know something I don't? I was lucky enough to find them both while conducting my investigation in this part of town. Why do I still have the feeling that you're hiding something? What about the abductor? Was it the same person? I don't think so. You had better interview Miss Teasdale and Mr. Kimura on that matter. All I did was to lead them safely home. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon.
Okay. Out, but I'd rather rest in my own bed. Are you from Ascalon? What the? I don't care. Thirty-two. Uh, who got you? Uh, 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 uh. Oh my gosh! Freaking chain comboing me on the ground. That was freaking evil. leveled up all right he's dangerous but I gotta take care of this priest first District sanitized. All righty. Six o'clock is probably a good point to take a break. All right. Actually, I want to talk with what's her face. So you can exchange with her real quick. Good evening, Miss Ashworth. And good evening. Oh, She's been. Good evening. And good. E Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. That's what she said before. Okay. Time to go to Reed Manor. good time take a break so get up stretch use the bathroom grab a snack uh, we're gonna take a quick break try to keep it to five ten minutes at the most and we'll finish off the last hour maybe hour 15 ish hour and a half at the most but we'll finish it off and uh we'll finish the stream for today but yeah let's go ahead and take a break i'll see you guys back here in a few minutes be on b bear be
All right, and I'm back. Whew. Grab me a little drink, a little snack. Ready to go. All right, but first, we got to answer. What are we going to level up? Um, level 26, let's see. We max this out. Thunderbar. Let's see, this requires level 32. We do have an experience to do Blood Cold. Significantly increasing the damage. Um, other options include uh, Spring, which this just increases the stun. We also have Coagulation, which this one I'm loath to level up till, you know, one of the last things I want to level up. Only because, again, the only thing that changes at this point is how much blood gets drained. It doesn't increase the duration, it doesn't cause any damage. So, it's kind of not worth it to burn that many points. It could be better spent. Now, Shadow Mist is kind of worth it. Let's do... let's just beef up the ultimate. Boom! And then how much do we need for this? We need another 4,500. So, we could save up points for this, which I'm tempted to do, but I might level up... maybe one of something? You know, like, let's see, pick thirst. Blood capacity could be good. Things are getting tougher, man. Yeah. I have tempted to spend the points just to increase my stamina. We'll save it for now. Um, but once we upgrade Shadow Mist one more time, then maybe we'll start, we'll spend the, on some of this stuff. And I'm kind of tempted to do this, but I don't use any bullets. But now that I've gotten, might be able to do that weapon upgrade. Um, it's almost tempting. We'll leave it. Alright, confirm! following night. Alright, time to see how the effects of things. Well, death of Aloysius Dawson. A highly respected resident of the city district passed away last night. Aloysius Dawson, co-founder and head of the Dawson and Dawson Company at 71 years of age. It was no secret that Mr. Dawson's health had recently declined. The once joyful businessman had almost oh, where you go, uh, had almost totally disappeared from social events since the tragic death of his twin brother. An influential man, Aloysius Dawson, was also a great art collector and a concerned philanthropist. Recently, he had campaigned for an audacious plan to save London from the Spanish flu by raising a quarantine wall to separate the districts to contain the epidemic. But only a few hours before his death, the magnate had given orders to cancel the construction of the wall. More surprisingly, large donations of money had been received by all major London hospitals, while equally important contributions have been made to the smaller clinics and dispensaries. Does it mean Aloysius Dawson, a man known for his fortitude and conservative opinions, was finally touched by grace? Who could say? Only one thing is certain. All over the city, thanks to that man's late generosity, stocks of medical supplies have been replenished, and the death toll has significantly been lowered in the last 24 hours. No doubt hundreds of grateful citizens will be at the St. Mary Churchyard to accompany the final journey of their benefactor. Oh, he's dead, but I didn't kill him, which I think still counts for a no embrace thing. Dead! Wow, I didn't even see the hints anymore. Just... I mean, considering two out of the three options ended in his death, I feel like this was the best. Your choice concerning the pillar of community, or, or concerning the community pillar, have been reported by the press. Your actions have impacted the borough's economy. 
but still a healthy district. Nobody's gotten sick unless it's, stuff's gonna happen this evening. Woo! Oh my gosh! For some reason, the whole district was sick, but now they're healthy. And sanitized! Woot woot. Back to the curb. Oh my gosh! Everybody was gonna be sick. But now they are healthy. And sanitized. Now, this district isn't sanitized, and I think technically because he's dead, I was reading, this district may not be able to ever reach sanitized, but that's pretty dang good. Things fully upgraded, right? Got a damage blood absorption twice. No, enhance handling once, blood absorption once, blood absorption twice, and then damage. That's why this one's T31. This does less damage. This has. This takes less stamina, but. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> right. Sorry about that. I couldn't get to my meat switch fast enough. <sighs> Hopefully, that didn't really come through. Or if it did, it was not very loud. Attack speed higher is better. Yeah, because things are slower. So the saber is actually slower than a hacksaw. That's funny. sticks. Charlotte's is good and that has better stamina. Significantly better stamina cost, but this one gives me like a little bit more. Anyways. Uh, can I get anything with stamina? Get Johnson's watch, which I'm not going to touch. Here we go, I can recycle this small bag of junk. Um, anything else that has lead rods? Nope. Sure, why not? 
lost. Come on. Ah. All right. better handling or blood absorption, the exact same thing. Sorry, I'm oh, delaying too much. Let's just, let's just you know, collect the list of knife. We're just gonna go for it. Okay. Better handling. Or blood absorption. Um, I think handling just makes sense. Nice even number. Instead of the seven and, and a half blood points thing. All right. Cool. I can get more blood points. It's fine. Ta da! Firearms. Found out? Yes, that's why it's this level 5. And I don't have enough of these green chips. I believe the revolver has a better fire rate than the spare bill. Kinda like this. Oh man, why can't I decide? Let's see, I have enough triggers and, and stuff. I can... Whammy. Okay. Uh... Oh, this one doesn't have the option to add the... that's why. Well, I shouldn't have bothered with it. Oh, firearm. Can't do this yet. And need more rivets for this. Recycled. Which now gives me enough for this guy. I don't know if we get a better gun, but uh, I think this is my best for now, so let's just do it. Firepower or shh, give it stun. Mm. Considering how many bullets we can shoot with this thing, maybe stun would be good? I mean, better damage is better damage, but it's also not a huge increase, so let's just do the stun.
All right, let's go. Time to go to the Pembroke. Oh, swing by my girlfriend's. <laughs> I'll swing by. So you want to back? Go out to find us. Mary. Anything new, Mother? Hello again, Mother. Jonathan. Good Goodbye. You, sell me stuff. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Have you any news on Aloysius Dawson? I heard he died and gave all his money to the poor. Now that's a good man. An example for us all to follow. Yay, this guy, as much as he is a uh, hedonist, he's still a good guy. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. More white phosphorus. I think I need two, not just one. Dang it. No, I'll save with the house sodium hydroxide. Um, eventually, I will need more of these. I'll buy one. Dang it, not enough to upgrade. Good evening, Miss Teasdale. Can I help you, Dr. Reed? What can you... Never heard of him. Really? Are he a big shot? Good but... So you've never heard the news of him dying. Where's my old best friend? What's she got to say? Good evening, Miss... And good evening. What is your opinion of Aloysius Dawson? It seems the old sod gave all his fortune to the poor and to charities at the last minute. I wonder what part you played in that turnaround. That's it. Okay. Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been quite bit. Don't let any strangers come into your house. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? Well, I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Have you any news about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I was hoping he would finance my research. But I heard he's given all his money to the sick and poor. <laughs> you need some rest, Clown. Okay. <laughs> Locked. Sir, you are not welcome here. Now fight me, Arthur. Sir. You are not welcome here. Sir, you are not welcome here. Fight me, you coward. Um, sure, why not? We'll talk with Billows here. Rats. Tasty rats. Have you recent news of Aloysius Dawson? He is dead, I've heard. I wish I was dead too. I must. Jonathan, please come in. I remember when Mary came here with her husband and her son. What do you need from me, Jonathan?
Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? The old goat gave all his money to the poor. I wish he'd thought about sending some to his closest neighbors. Shut up. Goodbye. Horrible for now. woman. Don't worry, I won't go back to that other part of the district. Mary came uh, they'll probably still be able to ask this questions to them when I go back, so let's see. Da -da -da, talk to them over there, so just, just uh, come over here. Come on. Stand up. Good evening, Mr. Kimura. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Have you heard of Aloysius Dawson? In his last hours, the man spent most of his money improving health care in the city. Now that's generosity. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. All right, cool. All righty. I'll show that there's a conversation to be had. Over at Lady Ashbury's, so we'll go that way. Ooh, I can get to go rummage in this trash can. Yeah! Lead stick and aluminum parts. Look at that. Grease and shillings. Oh my gosh, the trash can had almost more more items in it than all of uh, Alois's mansion. Alright, any vampires gonna try to fight me? Guard of Prewin. I'll head back if I were you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Sir! Sir! <laughs> Easy. Slim pickings. It still only gives me five experience. Lame sauce. Lady Ashbury, Lady Ashbury, open your door to me. stuff is resupplied. Nope. It's locked, all right. <laughs> it's a painting of me. It's come a little farther along. Elizabeth. I'm so happy to see you. I was so concerned. It is also good to see you in these darkened hours. Is all well, my dear? Indeed, we stand upon the precipice. Has the news reached you of Edgar Swansea? No. I returned home but moments ago. What of him? Your friend, the well-informed old Bridget, tells me the guard of Prewen has assaulted Pembroke. I fear Edgar tops their bloody list. Bridget? She is such a tragic figure. And yet, I sense deep inside, she has a delicate, fragile soul. Are you despised? I want to say this, but I also want to be like, what are you hiding? She knows something, but then... Indeed, she has. I'm glad you like her too. Once this is all over, I will study the sewer scowls. I fear I have made terrible mistakes, founded upon erroneous preconceptions. I was concerned for your safety. McCullum draws too close to you for my comfort. Fear not. I've evaded the hunters for many a year. 
and I intend to stay far from their gases, flames, and spikes. Now, speak to me of Dawson. I convinced Aloysius to embrace death as the ultimate gift of mortal life. I believe he found peace in the end. The cost must have been heavy indeed. I am proud of you, my love. Ascalon has defrocked me and threatens to hound me from the city. This was, no doubt, inevitable. You did what you thought was right at the time. One can ask no more. The important task now at hand is to help poor Edgar. Now I am assured of your safety. That is precisely my intention. Good. Now go, my dear, and return with good news with the greatest haste. Is it? No more follow-up questions? It is I, once again. I it is I! <laughs> But find out what happened to dear Dr. Swansea. I fear for our friend. Okay, fine. Fine. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Something just came to me, and I'm trying to think of. Sorry, the reason I'm doing this is because I could have swore for somebody for their hint. I just needed to read some. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm getting all mixed up. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I'm, everything's good. All right, time to go. Save the hospital. Let's go. My hair just keeps keeps bugging me, but that's why I'm gonna try getting a haircut tomorrow. It's getting a little bit unruly. Stick. 
Oh, let's just take care of this guy while he's out. Am I gonna see? Is the hospital fine? Good so far. Hey there, chap. Good evening, Dr. Tibbetts. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Are you okay? I heard the hospital was attacked. Yes, can you believe it? Attacking a hospital of all places. Mindless savages. Is anyone hurt? No, but Dr. Swansea is missing. I believe they wanted money or drugs. Maybe these brutes will ask for a ransom. Ugh. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Alright, does, does this wanker have anything to say or no? Loading! Loading! No! Wow, it's a really long load, and he says nothing new. Hey, Doc! Oh, jeez! Ah. Ah. Are you alright? I heard the hospital has been attacked. For a second, I thought the bosses were here for me. They had guns and everything. Maybe there are new gang trying to expand. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. I've never seen so many people dying at the same time. Yeah, because you've never been to war. Um, even though they have nothing to do necessarily with the hospital, I wonder if it's worth talking with these chaps down here, see if they've seen anything. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Are you concerned about the living conditions in the city? Of course I am. I'll be stuck here for as long as Oswald refuses to go to hospital. And, unfortunately, it seems the violence is rising. What kind of violence? I believe people have armed themselves and started to attack those that show signs of contagion. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Okay. This is now. Good evening. Evening, Doc. Are you concerned about the conditions here in London? Not really. Sick people, men in arms, fighting every night. I already faced all this during the war. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Alright, Milton, tell me you shot a few of them. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. For months I said this day would come. We should have armed ourselves. Riots are rising. The end is near. That's it. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Oh, 
Nurse. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Are you all right? I heard the hospital has been attacked. I'm okay. I don't think anyone's hurt. But we haven't heard from Dr. Swansea. Do you think he's been taken, then? Yes. There's been shouts in his office, and, and then these brutes left the hospital without a word. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. She's rendered again without her eyebrows. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Poor Dr. Swansea. He was the only one to stand up to those brutes. And now they've dealt with him. Where is Dr. Swansea? I don't know. I hid behind a tent. I saw nothing. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. They were vampire hunters, and they were looking for me. Bless poor Dr. Swansea. They beat him, but he didn't say a word about me. They hurt him, you say? Yes, I hide in the shadows, but I've heard them. What did they want? They wanted Dr. Swansea to confess his guilt and admit to relations with blood drinkers. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. The giant wolf disguised. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Yeah. I heard them. At least ten men and women. None of them sounded too happy, you know. When fear turns to anger. Reminded me of being back in the trenches. What did they do? They went upstairs and arrested Dr. Swansea. They argued for a few seconds and then... There was just this awful silence. Ah. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. You disgust on every street corner. That time I can go back to visit old Bridget and all them skulls down there. Maybe I'll do it after this mission. I'll have to be for the next stream. Let's see. Keep on talking to people. Yeah, they're all the people. Lady, we will not further your agenda, sir. How long is it going to take to fix me properly? A month? A year? You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when your people... Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. I heard they were police in disguise who came to arrest Dr. Swansea. This place is a dump. They were not police in disguise. Awful lady. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Are you okay? I heard that the hospital was attacked. I'm fine. No one has been hurt. As far as I know. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Are you all right? I heard the hospital has been attacked. As far as I know, nobody's been hurt. But who were those men? 
Why attack Dr. Swansea? What happened to him? We don't know. They came in, they went out. In between those two events, Dr. Swansea went missing. Maybe he just went into hiding nearby. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Are you all right? I heard the hospital has been attacked. I was sleeping when it happened, so don't know much. I heard Dr. Swansea disappeared after the attack. That's all I know. Goodbye for now. I will not let you down, my boy. You are sorry, Dr. Reed. I know that Pembroke will prevail. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. Wait, and good evening. Goodbye. Oh, that was stuck with him. Come here. What a blundering idiot. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Are you all right? I heard the hospital had been attacked. For now, we have to keep on looking after our patients. But we won't be able to do so for long without an administrator. Has Dr. Swansea really gone? Yes. This place is turning into a joke. A sad joke indeed. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. How can we be sure we're making a difference? Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Unfortunately, violence can be a necessary evil, sir. I volunteered, joined the army to serve the Empire, sir. But attacking a hospital, shame. What do you mean? A hospital should be a safe place, sir. Like a temple. A temple of science. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just... Alright, give me that stuff. The good stuff. Yeah! Finally grab my weapons! The firearms! Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? McCullum and his thugs are taking the credit for Edgar's abduction. They really mean business. Search my office. What did they? No, there's no big accident, so. They left my office well enough alone. Alright, here we go. Use against beasts and vampires. Now, the thing is, I have enough for one dose of each. Do I want to spread it out to two different weapons? Or do I want them both? I kind of both want them to have. Let's see.
Oh, that's right. I did this while I was waiting to improve this. So this overall damage is gonna go, or yeah, you know, the big damage is gonna go down, but it's gonna make it for you. for now since I don't have any more I'll, I'll add some acid to this chemical damage. Where'd they take you, little boy? Is there something I missed? Come on. Nope. Blood. Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. You just wanted to blindly stumble your way up here. Ultraviolet uh, curtains and ori calcium powder. Uh, Dr. Swansea's uh, always been a resourceful uh, bastard. Uh, I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Uh, 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 Says a lot about uh, how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what. 
What are you talking about? We know <sighs> everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. Oh, you dumbass. You're going to no, unleash man. another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. He found proof. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. Ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Boss battle time. Ooh. Ooh. He does a lot of damage. Ah, it burns. Ah! What put you down? Shut up. That's what I should have done to start off with. If you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? Ah. You know what? Ah! Even though it's good to stun him, I think I think it's time to bring out the gun. So I pull out my gun. Come on. That was here. Come on, let's change. There we go. The perfect pistol parabellum. How? Show some style. Fight like a man. True light will cleanse you. Shut up. Oof. Oh no. But well, well, I can still avoid damage as well. The blood of a true defender of this Shut land up. will protect me. Your poison. Ah, this is fights. <laughs> Ah, it hurts. But if you're so innocent, why does simple light burn you so much? Your ass. We are the guardian of justice. <laughs> Bury the hatchet. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been. And we always will be. 
Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? Ooh. Ooh. Can I either just leave him alone or I can turn him? Ooh. I'll be nice and I'll spare him. Because turning him to a vampire. That just kind of, I mean, that would be really cool, but at the same time, I don't think he wants, you know, he doesn't want to be. Anyways, I'll be nice, I'll spare him. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? This is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter. expecting it to turn out I thought I knew eventually we'd have to I figured we'd have to eventually fight him um, but look at that either way it doesn't end with his death <laughs> unless the process of turning him killed him I don't know I'll find out my next playthrough Pretty sure there wasn't anything to grab before that fight. It was just like open that door. No. Whew, man, what a battle, guys! That was crazy. Kicked his ass though. It's a good call to use the use the gun. Now I finally upgraded it. Yeah, I'll stick with this. So. Go back to using this steak. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna look at that too. It's shortly after 7 o'clock, so I should probably wrap things up here. Get ready to eat dinner. Spend some time with my wife. But, uh. Let's see. I'm gonna send my wife a message, because maybe we'll play for a tiny bit more while I'm waiting for it.
text message. All right. Cause look at that, 960. I bet you. I can kill a few more guys, get just enough experience to get us to 5,000. Let's see. Science without conscious. Main quest. The guard appeared when have abducted Edgar Swansea and brought him to their new headquarters inside the Doris Fletcher's. The Doris Fletcher's former theater. Inside the Doris Fletcher's. It's I should go there as soon as possible, risking my dear old friend. So that's the way I gotta go. But man, I can just... Just gotta kill a few more things and get the experience. Let's... Hmm. It's probably full of skulls. Let's go over here. Back to where we went in the beginning of the game. Over here to the morgue. We'll wrap it up here soon. My wife is just finishing an email upstairs, so hey, we'll just beat up some some bad guys, get some experience. If I hit that 5,000, then we'll come back and upgrade. So that way we're ready uh, for next time stream, which again, most likely will not happen next week, um, as I'll only have about 36 hours at home and plan on just kind of spending that relaxing and being with my wife. Uh, but after and then so then hopefully it'll be the next week during my birthday week I Try to stream Again, I really want to go play games and do stuff on my actual birthday and Hang out with my wife and do stuff. She's super pumped excited to spend hang spend my birthday with me, so Man, These guys never leveled up. They're super weak Will they even give me experience? I don't know, I'm really surprised considering everywhere else enemies have leveled up, but in here they're, they're still weaklings. Just where we came in at, just looking to see if there's any more supplies that are stocked.
there's that body down here still in this perfectly preserved state. It's locked. Five K experience. Loot. All right, let's just clear this out and get some more supplies. locked. skull that spawned again downstairs because I'm pretty sure I cleared it out the first time. Thank you. 
so many spots never restocked. Oh well. See these guys up in the brain. Just a regular dude. La 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 la. Whoop. Alright. Time to go. First off, let's get some more bullets. First time I've actually had to get bullets out of here. I think I got plenty of them. Until it gets to level 32, which means I have to upgrade other stuff. So let's do. Sh I said Shadow Miss last time, right? Yeah. Shadow Mist. Look at that. Unlocked. Um. Oh, and next time I get 6,000 points, I can max this out. That's good to know. Ooh, there's a lot of points. Alright. And I don't have enough to upgrade anything except... Oh, I can just do cartridge bag here. There we go. You know what, why not? Now that I'm finally using some bullets, or anything, I'm use some bullets. Unlocked. And there's nothing else I can spend 200 points on, so... Here we go. Confirm. Hey, and I'll be able to buy more uh, supplies again. Let's see. Look at that! Everybody stayed healthy here! Except poor Dr. Schwanz, he's still missing. But Look at that! What?! Oh my gosh! Everybody got sick here! Why?! Why?! At least everyone else stayed healthy. Jeez. Fatigue, cold, fatigue, fatigue, fati headache. Fatigue, fatigue. All right, let's see. Jeez, that dropped really bad. Let's see. M1 read. So one fatigue, two fatigue, three fatigue, four fatigue, five fatigue, six fatigue. So six fatigue. Um. Let's do headache. So one, two, headache. So two headaches, six fatigue, and one cold. That's what it looks like. Cheese. It's not a lot of experience. At least we get some for, for curing people. Jeez. One cold. And two headaches. Still nobody with neuralgia.
Okay, well, I'm still waiting for my wife to come down, so I guess we'll st I'll start healing some people up. So that way we can get right to the action next time. Jeez. Uh, well, everybody's in West End. So if I go this way, then I can at least partially clear out the way to here on my way back. So. Alrighty. Uh oh! Before I get and see if Dr. Chandra restocked. Before I could use some more supplies. Please show me. Of course. Like I said, I'm just glad the other district it's not everybody in sick and all the other districts. Oh boy. I think I might be good for a while since I sanitized them. But eventually, everybody's gonna start getting sick again. I just hope it's not big outbreaks like this. Then again, maybe this is the game's way of, you know, doing that, give, give, giving you some ways to earn more experience. shouldn't happen but just in case if the game does freeze and it crashes or it crashes uh i ain't coming back <laughs> for tonight just fyi but hey hey considering this is a shorter stream and everything we've done this might be ah, what oh, shit. you bastard ah oh, my gosh give me a chance to respawn no not this chuck again Shillings, it's like the biggest amount of shillings I've found. Stupid jerk trying to ambush me. Super dead now. Uh, no, that's the way I came from. Sorry, I will twist it up. Oh, okay. Nice. Ashbear, are you home? Where have you gone, Elizabeth? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no, does that mean she gonna be in danger next? Hmm. 
eventually we have to go that way. I might be able to clear this guy out by himself. None of these people have anything new to say. I'll just double check. Well, let me check with Charlotte. If anybody has something Quality new to say, I don't think it's her. And women. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening. Oh, She's been quite. Alright, sell me some stuff. What, what? Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? <laughs> I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Dr. Ruhid. A great night, what? Do you need medical help? You would save my life, Dr. Reed. I have not felt so bad in many years. Don't worry. There is nothing serious to fear. I have seen far worse, I can assure you. I cannot imagine the pain these people must face, then. You have my gratitude, Doctor. This disease has ruined my appetite. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Charlotte's fine. Louise Teasdale's fine. Right, is Mr. Kamara fine? No, he's not. Good evening, Mr. Kamara. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical assistance, sir? Don't believe that I'm the kind of man with a fragile constitution. But I'm afraid my imprisonment has done more harm than I thought. There is no need to be ashamed. We are all equally vulnerable to this disease. Yes. I know now life is as precious as it is fragile. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. It's 25. See, it's not a lot. This mean the awful lady. Sick. Yeah, she's got a head of. Hello, Venus. Hello, Jonathan. I remember when Mary came here with her husband. And Shut your mouth. I don't want to talk to you. I'm just. What do you need guy. from me, Jonathan? Do you need my medical attention? It would appear that old habits die hard, my dear. I would appreciate your help as always. I know if I don't treat your headache, then for some reason disease will spread, so... And I'm happy to give it to you, as always. Thank you, Jonathan. Goodbye. Go now. Good. Women of all countries unite. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. 
You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Good evening, Miss Price. You know you can call me Carolyn, my dear doctor. What is your opinion of Aloysius Dawson? Rumor is he gave most of his fortune to charities to help the poor and sick. He was a good man after all. May I look at... It's always a pl... medical attention, Miss Price. Oh, yes, I feel so oppressed lately. And tired and feeble, too. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're always so considerate. I'm just doing my job. Perhaps. But I have always been grateful for your concern, you know. Goodbye for now, Miss Price. Doctor Reed, I am. Talk to me. Dr. Reed, still conducting your nocturnal survey? Have you recent news of Aloysius Dawson? Come on. The most ruthless tycoon of England dies and gives his fortune to the poor. A man has been tricked. I suspect torture and murder here. Do you need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. 
You quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Yeah, some opium. I really appreciate it. That's for taking your mind a pretty pleasant headache. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? I try not to listen to gossip or rumors. Unlike my brother, I am only interested in facts. Do you need my medical attention, sir? Indeed. I've never been good at explaining my feelings, but I can tell when my body is hurting me. You have nothing to be worried about. You should recover by taking this. Sounds so easy to fight disease. Too bad it's not the same making people smile again. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I... Have you any recent news of Aloysius Dawson? I've heard he's dead. I hope he found his twin brother, wherever they are now. You knew Aloysius' twin brother? Yes. I think we were even together in the Gemini Club for a time. A somewhat <laughs> secret society that only accepts twins as members. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I'm afraid I do. I knew we should have left London. I don't want to appear tactless. But you're risking your health by remaining outside at this hour of night. Says the doctor who also works outside at night. But as always, the imprudent person enjoys the company of their fellows. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Okay, um... Well, he may not be sick. I should probably see what the primate has to say about... Swansea's abduction. There, I'm not detecting him right now, which is kind of troubling. There he is. He's healthy. Good evening, Jonathan Reed. Can I help you in any way? Have you any news concerning Aloysius Dawson? You unburdened his heart and cleared his mind. A most elegant solution, I must say, Jonathan. Okay, is it nothing else about what's happening? Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wonder. Cards never lie, but they are never easy to read. all the people over here in the sand though. I'm just curious if I can go read uh, what's his face in this mansion again, so we'll go check it out. Lisa, Denny Boy!
is this person doing? Like? been a single night, so I doubt anything really would be stocked again. And they probably carted the old boy's body away, so I can't take his keys, empty his safes. Oh. <gasps> it did leave the key. Oh wow, she's just got treatment for everyone on that one. Jeez, had I known this, I would have came here first and just picked this up. Blood samples. shillings oh my goodness the record broken three times tonight on the amount of shillings Anyways. pretty sure that was all the safes and that you know I didn't have to make any decisions on which to open but good job me going back to check well that was very productive considering the first time around we hardly found anything in this dumb house. Cool. All right, just gotta head back to Reed Manor. So I'm pretty sure that's the only person who hasn't been treated is Emily. Yep. <sighs> so yep, we'll go back to Reed Manor. Call it a night. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching, guys. It's good. It's good. Time off Tuesday. Like I said last time, or I said earlier, um, no stream next week, most likely. And there might be one after th the week after that, but unless I do it during the day, probably not on Tuesday because it's going to be my birthday. So we will see. Run here, not all the bad guys should be cleared out. Just talking to my wife a quick second about dinner, which we are going to make as soon as I finish up here. Loading. 
Rumors of abductions in the West End at night. That can't be true. Talk here with Avery here. Yes, Mr. Jonathan. See, he's all good. Oh, thought maybe he'd have an update on uh, Colossus, but does not. All right. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Hello again, Mother. Jonathan, back already. Good. Do you need my medical attention, Mother? Oh, you know I always refuse to let you listen to my chest, son. It always seemed awkward, even when I felt ill. I think you should take this. You'll feel better. I'm not sure I'll ever feel better, but thank you, my son. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Alrighty. Look at that. Ending with 555 experience. Alright, oh, um, there's nothing else to upgrade for the moment. Didn't use any ammo. Tap the bed here, but not rest. All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight's stream. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you're watching this on Twitch, please go ahead and give me a uh, go ahead and give me a follow. Make sure to turn your notifications on so you'll get the update whenever I go live. If you're on YouTube watching, thank you so much. Please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Um, again, you also turn on your notifications, let you know when a new video is up. And uh, remember to comment, tell me what you like, didn't like, or any answer any of the random questions I ask, or just whatever your thoughts are on stuff. But uh, yeah, again, I'll see you guys in two weeks, maybe we'll see. But whatever, I'll see you guys. And I'll be able to make sure to send out a notification. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Next time off Tuesday. Remember to bring a little bit of magic to the world. All right. See you guys. Bye now. Bye.